Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and as you can see we're playing Minecraft 1.20.1 with shaders using Optifine and I can prove this is Optifine because if I press C we could zoom in. So yeah, this is Optifine, you get the full video settings to customize the game however you need it to customize it and I'm not only going to teach you how to install Optifine 1.20.1 but I'm also going to teach you how to add shaders. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay guys, so step number one to downloading and installing Optifine, surprise, is actually downloading Optifine. For that you're going to click the second link in the description which will bring you to of course our reading guide on how to download and install Optifine. Now once you're here, feel free to read through the guide and look at the photos if that helps some of you, but I'm assuming most of you just want to follow along the video. For that, just a scroll down until you see this button that says download Optifine here and then go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you to the Optifine website. Now as you can see in here we don't have a button that says download for 1.20.1. Instead what we have is something that says preview version. However in the future when you might be watching this there might be a button that says download for 1.20.1 just like it says for 1.19.4. If that's the case for you just go ahead and click on that button. But as of right now all we're gonna do is just click on preview versions and we're gonna download the most recent one. This is a preview version but it's still Optifine and this still works with 1.20.1. So we're gonna click download and that is going to redirect over here where you're gonna wait five seconds and after you waited five seconds a button on the top labeled as a skip will appear just wait five seconds and as you can see we have a button labeled as a skip go ahead and click on the button and that is going to redirect you over here where you could just click download and the download for optifine will start automatically in my case it always asks me where i want to save the file but for you it's just gonna download automatically once you downloaded that file the optifine uh installer go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop if you're using chrome the newer update of chrome you can find it here on the top right in this little arrow so as you can see my file is almost done if you still have that little blue line in there that means still downloading and as you can see it's now done okay so now we have optifine and you could close the website that you used to download optifine right so now that we have optifine what's next okay so in our case we're actually gonna download some shaders because we want to try optifine with shaders okay that's the point in my case to download optifine i know some of you might download optifine to actually get a better performance in your game but in my case i want to try some shaders if you want to try some shaders as well just click on that third link in the description which is going to bring you to our reading guide on how to download and install complementary reimagining as you can see these are some beautiful shaders and they're very very easy to install so once you're here after you click the third link go ahead and scroll down until you see the download button is this tiny button in here go ahead and click on that button and that is going to redirect you to the complementary reimagining website in here all you have to do is scroll down until you find your minecraft version in this case it's 1.20.1 the one that we'll be downloading and it's the most recent one and you could just click on this little three dots up here next to it and click download file now, if you don't see your Minecraft version in there for whatever reason it might be, you could still download some other version of the shaders and they probably will still work with the newer version of Minecraft. In this case, we do have the updated one, which is great for 1.20.1. Now, go ahead and download that file. As you saw, it's asking me where to save it, but for you, it's just probably gonna download automatically. Once you have that file, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop and now we're ready to continue. Next, and before we install Optifine or anything like that, you wanna launch regular vanilla Minecraft 1.20.1. As you can see, I have it selected here and I'm gonna click on play and wait for that to open. Now, all you have to do is open the game, okay? Just launch it up. You don't have to play any world. You don't have to do anything. Just open your Minecraft vanilla and then close it once it's open as you're about to see. As you can see, the game is loading and all I'm gonna do once it opens and loads is just click quit game. So that step is necessary to create an instance of Minecraft 1.20.1 in your computer. If you have already played Minecraft 1.20.1, you could skip that part and just pretty much go to the next step, but yeah. But yeah, I get a lot of comments sometimes of people saying that they didn't install Optifine properly and a lot of the times it's because they didn't open Minecraft first. Once you close the game, make sure that you close the launcher and now you are ready to install Optifine. All you have to do is double click it. Just double click on the installer. Now you should get this little sign in here. And if you did, congratulations. That means that you are good and ready to install Optifine. But for those of you that didn't get this sign, when you click on this little icon in here, that means that you probably have an outdated Java. For those of you that have been watching the channel, you know that you need an updated version of Java in order to install any mods. And Optifine counts as a mod because it is a jar file, as you can see here. So if this file didn't open for you, or maybe it opened a text document, or maybe it opened a website, or it just didn't open at all, that means that you have an outdated Java. But don't worry because you're in luck. I'm going to leave you a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17, which is required for Optifine 1.20.1 to work with Minecraft. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this guide pretty simple. All you have to do is download Java from the website. Really, really simple. Just click three buttons and download Java. Installing Java is super easy. All you have to do is click next, next two times, and then the Java will install and you could close it. After you install Java, you might need to run a jar fix. Running your jar fix is a two step process. And I'm also gonna leave that guide in the description. And running a jar fix is as simple as downloading it, opening it, and that's it. You could click OK and you're done. Pretty much what Jarfix does is link all your jar files like this one to the newest installation of Java that you have on your computer. So in this case, let's say that you had an outdated version of Java and then you updated it, then you run a jar fix and you link all these files to your new instance of Java. Okay. 
So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, that's an option for those of you that are having issues launching Optifine. For most of us that were able to launch Optifine, all we're gonna do next is click install and wait for Optifine to install. So go ahead and click install. And of course that while Optifine is installing, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you are looking for a server to play Minecraft with your friends and it could be a 1.20.1 server or any version that you like that is completely done by somebody else, you don't have to worry about creating the server, adding any mods or any mod packs because they could do that for you if you choose to. Well, Apex Hosting is here for you. Now, Apex Hosting provides you with a lot of advantages but one of my favorite things is that you could actually access the server console through your phone so you don't even need to be at home to control your server let's say that you want to kick people out you want to change the settings or whatever you want to do you could do so with your phone and also for those of you that take advantage of the first link in the description you're gonna get 25 percent off i'm not lying 25 percent off your first server with apex hosting which is a great deal that i wish was available when i created my own server with apex hosting so yeah i'm gonna leave that first link in the description take advantage of that deal now and let's get back into the tutorial and as you can see optifine already installed you will know that optifine install because it will give you this little sign in here that says successful install go ahead and click on ok and you could even delete optifine now now the next step is to launch the minecraft launcher go ahead and open it and we're gonna wait for that to open and if you install optifine properly you will get optifine automatically selected down here when the launcher has opened if that's not the case for you you could always click on installations and make sure that modded is selected if you don't have modded selected you won't see optifine as you can see if that doesn't fix it however you can click on new installation and then look for optifine on the version right here just to scroll down until you find optifine as you can see uh, 1.20.1 Optifine is right here. You can name this whatever you want, like Optifine or whatever you wanna name it. And then click create here on the bottom right, right there. And you will get an Optifine instance created in case it didn't come up automatically for you. Now I'm gonna delete that one because I don't really need it. Mine was automatically selected when I opened the launch. Now, once you have Optifine selected, you are kind of ready to play it. So let's go ahead and click on play, but don't click out yet because I'm gonna show you how to add the shaders. So just click that you understand and then click play. And I'm gonna show you how to add the shaders once the game opens. As you can see, the game has opened and we will know we're in Optifine because if we click on options and we go to video settings, we'll get a whole different menu now. And also it says Optifine down here, but as you can see, this menu is different than the regular Minecraft. Now, if all you wanted to do was install Optifine, then you are done. But if you wanna add the shaders like I am about to do, then stay. Let's go ahead and click on single player and launch your world doesn't really have to be um, any specific world. You could add shaders to multiplayer, to servers, to your own world, doesn't really matter. So once you're in the world, as you can see, I'm flying, and that is because I was looking for a thumbnail for the videos. So once you are in the world, you could just press escape, go to options, go to video settings, click on shaders, and then click on shaders folder. That is going to open a folder that might be empty for you. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the file that I have in there. This folder might be empty for you. And all you have to do in here is drag and drop the complementary shaders that we download or whatever shaders you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop complementary, close this folder, open the game back up, and you will see the shaders appear within the game. Now click on the shaders, give it some time to load because it might take a while to load. Once the shaders have loaded, you can click on done, done, back to game. And there you go, you have shaders working Minecraft with Optifine 1.20.1. Now, one of the cool things about Optifine is that you could always press C and zoom in to see from far away, which I always found amazing. And these shaders are so beautiful. So yeah, that is pretty much how to install Optifine 1.20.1. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And also, I'm gonna leave a video up right now on how to add X-Ray to Minecraft 1.20.1. Maybe you wanna use the X-Ray for the server you just created with Apex Hosting using the first link in the description. Whatever the case might be, I'm gonna leave that video up right now so you can go watch it. What are you waiting for? Go, go watch it. Yeah.